BBC Four Kids is proud to present the Psalms. Psalm 51 Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make known to me wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. Psalm 51 is another psalm written by David and is all about David confessing his sins to God. In the first part of the psalm, verses 1 to 6, David confesses that he has sinned, but also knows that God is merciful. And so he desperately asks God to show him that mercy and to cleanse him of his sin. He says that his sin is always before him. He can't escape it or ignore it. He knows that his sin will continue to bother him until he is cleansed by God. God's commandments are perfect, and when David broke them, it was like he was saying that he didn't care about those perfect commandments and wanted to go his own way. When he confesses his sin, he acknowledges that he should have followed the commands of God and not his own ways. Then, in verses 7 to 12, David prays for God to restore him after his sin. David knew that he could not make himself clean, and so he asks God to wash him so that he is whiter than snow. He also prays that God would let him hear joy and gladness again, so that out of the dark and hard time in his life he would now have joy. Verse 10 is our main verse in this psalm. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. David asks God to create a new heart that is clean from all sin and to give him a steadfast or strong and enduring spirit that will help him to keep following God's commandments fully in the future. We can learn a lot from this psalm. We also, like David, should want God to create a clean heart in us. And to do that, we need to be willing to repent of our sins. Repentance is when you bring your sins to God and confess how wrong they are before God and ask God for forgiveness, just like David did in the first part of the psalm. When you or I repent of our sins, We also need to change how we are living, just like how David does in the second part of the psalm. Repentance is turning away from our sin and turning to righteous living with God. 
David is relying on God and wants to renew that relationship that has been stained by his sin. And we should want to have a healthy relationship with God that is not stained by all the sins that we do that go against what he says, but should want it to be a pure relationship. In the last few verses, verses 13 to 19, David asks God to restore a few more things in his life, his joy of salvation, his willingness to praise God, and his favor for the kingdom of Israel. All these things were impacted because of the sin in David's life. And just like David, we should be willing to bring all our sins to God and ask him to forgive us and give us strength to change our lives to be pleasing to him. In this psalm, David provides a great example of how we can do that. Repentance. Psalm Psalms with the Psalm Song Guy. about it with Pastor Daniel. In today's psalm, David sets a very important pattern that we can learn from. David has sinned. He's done something wrong. And he knows that sin affects his relationship with God, that God hates sin. And while there's sin in his life, well, he won't be able to have a good relationship with God. So David goes through a really important process that every person who believes in God needs to go through. It's called repentance. And an easy way to remember what repentance is, is that it's turning away from sin and turning to God. And in order to turn away from our sin, we need to confess our sin, just like David did. We need to say to God, what I did was wrong. And then we need to ask God to forgive us of our sin. And David said, that's like God giving us a clean heart again, a heart that's clean from sin. And the Bible promises that when we ask God for forgiveness, God will forgive us because of Jesus dying for our sins on the cross. Then after we've confessed our sins and we've asked God to forgive us of our sins, we need to ask God for strength that he can give us to live rightly for him going forward. That's what David meant when he asked that God would give him a, or renew a steadfast spirit within him. He was asking God to give him strength in his spirit to resist new temptations to sin when they came up in his life. So those are the three steps to repentance. Confessing our sin is wrong before God, asking God to forgive us of our sins, to give us a clean heart, and then praying that God will give us a steadfast spirit or the strength to live for him. But then there's actually one more thing that David does in this psalm that's important to remember as well. He says that once he's been forgiven, he's going to praise God. He says he'll praise God with songs and he'll praise God in private and he'll praise God in front of other people and teach them and tell them about all that God has done for him. And this should be our response when we're forgiven too. Thankfulness in our hearts to God and then praise. So today, I want you to think about whether there are any sins in your heart that you need to repent of. 
then go through the steps that we talked about today. Confess your sins, ask God for forgiveness, and ask Him for strength going forward. And then, actually, we should think about this every day. We know that sin takes away from our relationship with God, so every day we need to ask God to show us if there are sins we should repent of, and then do it. And remember, God is faithful, which means that He's definitely going to forgive our sins if we confess them to Him. And then, He'll give us strength so that we can resist temptation better next time. Isn't that good news? Thanks for watching FFBC for Kids. Come back next time for another video from the Book of Psalms. Bye!